Sisters, you have three there. You have Nosset Light, Highland Light, Race Point Light, Long Point, and the final one, Zach. Oh no. Chatham. What do we do? Where do we travel? No, there's another one. I out. tuned you out. I was busy thinking. <laughs> <laughs> Woods, 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 End? Woods End. Woods End Light. There we go. There we go. So right. Chatham technically is on a, a different property than ours. So the Chatham Light would technically be in either the town of Chatham or in um, the refuge land over by Monomoy. That one does not. It's our good friend Fish and Wildlife that always is that one. So. However, back in the day, there was a lot more. Does anyone know of the, uh, ooh, it would have been the oldest, the, the second oldest lighthouse that is now a buoy. The lost city of Atlantis is for Cape Cod. on the Cape or is it on one of the islands? It's on the Cape. So this one's in what is now Wellfleet, but there is a town called Billingsgate. Billingsgate is if any of you have ever walked the Great Island Trail, it's a beautiful eight mile trail, goes out to Jeremy Point. Jeremy Point's a little spit at the end. However, if you look at a map or Google Maps, another about, I don't know, quarter mile out, there's this really shallow area. And until about 1931, it was a community of 60 people, had its own lighthouse, it was called Billingsgate. However, as sea level rose, they put all their houses onto barges and floated them to Wellfleet. And that lighthouse was torn down, and instead a buoy was put up in oh. place. <laughs> so it was just yeah. kind of disregarded, but it's our, it's our lost city of Atlantis mm -hmm. called Billingsgate. <laughs> 